Is your PC running slow or maybe your C drive is constantly full? If you're thinking about upgrading to a faster SSD but worried about reinstalling Windows or accidentally losing your files, don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to clone your Windows system to a new SSD safely and easily. We're going to migrate your entire system, operating system, settings, installed apps, the lot, over to a new SSD without needing to reinstall anything. First, make sure your new SSD has enough space to hold the data from your current drive. It doesn't need to match the total size, just the used space. You'll also need a way to connect the SSD to your computer. If you're on a desktop, that might be an internal slot, or for laptops, a USB to SATA adapter or enclosure works perfectly. If the SSD doesn't show up in Windows, you'll need to head into Disk Management and initialize the drive first. Just click Start and type in Disk Management, then click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. You'll see a list of all disks attached to your computer, and there you can see our SSD with 931GB of unallocated space. Just right-click in the unallocated area and click New Simple Volume. Press Next, and on the next screen it will default to creating a new volume on your SSD using all the available space. Leave that as is and click Next. If you want to, you can assign a different drive letter, but that doesn't matter for what we're doing, so accept whatever drive letter Windows chooses for you and press Next again. Make sure the radio button is selected to format the volume and choose NTFS for the file system. You can give the volume a friendly label to help you distinguish it from your old hard drive, Leave the box checked to perform a quick format and then press Next. After a few moments, your SSD will be formatted and will appear as another drive in Windows. Once your SSD is connected and recognized, go ahead and download ESUS Disk Copy using the link in the description. It's fast, reliable and great for beginners. What sets this tool apart is that it lets you clone from a larger disk to a smaller SSD if you need to and it automatically resizes partitions for you, no manual fiddling around with disk layouts. Now open up ESUS Disk Copy. You'll see a few different modes available. System Clone typically involves copying the operating system, system settings and installed software from one computer to another. This allows you to transfer your entire system to a new computer without having to reinstall everything from scratch. System Clone is often used when upgrading to a new computer or transferring data to a new hard drive. Disk Clone involves copying an entire disk or partition including all files, folders and settings. This creates an exact duplicate of the original disk, which can be useful for creating a backup or transferring data to a new hard drive. Disk clone is often used when replacing a failing hard drive or upgrading to a larger storage capacity. For this video, we'll use System Clone, which copies everything needed to boot your PC from the new drive. ESUS Disk Copy detects that you've connected a new drive to your computer and it will ask you if you want to migrate the operating system to that new drive, which is exactly what we want to do. Click Yes and the software will automatically select the source drive for you, usually your C drive. Next, make sure that the new SSD is chosen as the destination. Again, the software should do this for you automatically. If there's any data on it, it will be erased, so double check you've backed up anything important if this isn't a brand new SSD you are migrating to. On the drop-down, leave the option set to Auto Fit the Disk. This automatically adjusts your new SSD's layout for optimal performance, while Copy as the Source would preserve the layout of your old hard drive on your new SSD. Edit Disk Layout allows for manual resizing and moving of partitions on the target disk, but for what we're doing, we'll leave it on Auto Fit the Disk. Then click Proceed to start the cloning process. This can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour or more depending on your system, so now's a good time to make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more tutorials like this, then grab yourself a coffee or head outside for a walk while the software works its magic. Once cloning is complete, shut down your computer, disconnect the old hard drive and replace it with your new SSD. Or if you've already installed the SSD internally on a desktop PC, go into the BIOS and set it as the primary boot device. You can usually access the BIOS by tapping Delete, F2 or F12 as the machine powers on. Look for the boot order settings and make sure the new SSD is at the top of the list. If your system doesn't boot up after cloning, don't panic! Check the boot order again or try reconnecting the drive. ESUS also lets you create a bootable USB if needed, which is handy for troubleshooting boot issues and disk problems. If you notice your new SSD looks smaller than it should be after booting up, you probably just have some unallocated space on the new SSD, which is very easily fixed. To do this in Disk Management, click Start and type in Disk Management, then click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. You'll notice that the main partition on the disk isn't taking full advantage of all the space it could do there with that large block of unallocated space. 
Simply right-click the main partition and choose Extend Volume, then follow the wizard to extend the partition to fill up the empty space. Then if I press Refresh in Windows, you'll see the total size of the SSD increase. And what about your old drive? Well, you can format it and use it for storage inside a little USB caddy like this one, or keep it as a backup just in case. Just be sure you've confirmed the SSD boots correctly before wiping anything from your old hard drive. So that's it, a safe, simple way to upgrade your PC and breathe new life into your system using EaseUS Disk Copy. No reinstalling, no headaches, and no data loss. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe and check out the link in the description to download EaseUS Disk Copy.